Hi guys! In this tutorial, I will teach you all about Bubble Sort. Bubble Sort is the simplest and easiest sorting algorithm. In this example, we have 5, 1, 3, 0, and 7. Using the Bubble Sort, we can sort the array values ascendingly or descendingly. But I will only teach you ascendingly. So, first we have to compare 5 and with 1. So, if 5 is greater than 1, we have to swap them like that. So, the value now of index 0 is 1. And then, we have to compare it with 3. 1 is greater than 3. No. So then we will move with 0 is 1 greater than 0, true. So we will have now to swap them. And then comparing 0 with 7, false. Then we will move with 5. If 5 is greater than 3, we have to swap them. And then compare 3 with 1. Then 3 is greater than 1, so we have to swap them. There. And then if 1 is greater than 7, false. So we have to move with 5. If 5 is greater than 3, true. So we have to swap them. And 3 is less than 7, so same. And 5 is less than 7, so remain. And there we have now sorted the array values with 0, 1, 3, 5, 7 accordingly in ascending form. So now I will teach you how to code a bubble sort. So we have here a array class wherein I have declared the array size as 5 and the array as the size of the array is size. So in making a bubble sort, we can make another class and I name it bubble. And now we have a new class, Bubble. So now, we have to make another method. So int array here will be our array on the array class. Then we declared an int temp. This temp will be our temporary bar variable holding the array later. So we have to make a for loop for comparing inner for loop. inner for loop for comparing the first variable with the next variables and then outer for loop for the move movement of the array Here we have to set array2 equals ctr plus 1 so that our array2 will move depending on our ctr and then we have to make our array that length minus 1 so that there will be no index out of bounds. And now we can compare if
So if RACTR is greater than RACTR2, like we did um, while, a while ago, the temp will hold the value of the RACTR temporarily so that they can switch values. The RACTR will be now equal to RACTR2 and the RACTR2 will now hold the value of the temp so that the smaller values will be on the lower index. And for us to show if what we are doing is correct, we have to have a for loop for showing us what is happening with our for two for loops. that we both know if we are correct. And now we have to call our class bubble by declaring a variable subject one equals to bubble. So object one here will hold the bubble class so that we can access all the methods Bubble class. And there. So we now run run file. If we input five one three zero and seven. Iteration. Yeah. Oh well, this is wrong. Oh, make another four. Try again. Run, run. There. We can now uh, five, five, one, three, zero, and seven. got an error still. Ah, sorry. You have to hurry. CTR. There. I think this will really already work. Um, still add here like this. This works five one 
Thank you for watching guys. Next video I will teach you about selection sort. Thank you guys.